Let me explain you the term Hanidashi based on the example of two coffee machines. The first coffee machine has no Hanidashi implemented. But what does it mean? To load the machine we place a coffee pad below the lid. After the coffee is brewed we remove the pad by lifting the lid again and remove the pad. Once the machine finished, we want to place the next pad inside the machine, which is not possible, as the pad holder is still in use. We have to remove the previous pad before we can place the next one, right? That means we need an additional handling step before proceeding. Let's have a look on a coffee machine which has an implemented Hanidashi inside. The pad holder inside the machine is always empty when proceeding with the next coffee pad. So there is no need of removing the pad first. When comparing both machines, the time difference between both become obvious. On the left hand side, we first have to remove the pad before proceeding. Whereas we almost finished the cycle on the right hand side of the machine. That is the so-called Hanidashi. I hope you liked the video, stay tuned, subscribe or leave me a comment below. My name is Martin, see you next time.